but abducted. If we take a moment to look at the big picture, there's a far bigger problem present than just rioting teenagers and civil disobedience. Since 2008-2009, the European and US economies have been operating on effectively borrowed time, as well as borrowed money. The combination of money printing and a perpetual war economy has done little or nothing to alleviate the fundamental problems. With the stock market pumped up by printed money and the fact that there is simply nowhere else to invest, it doesn't take a genius to realize that this party is about to end in tears again. The police state that has been erected throughout the West in the 21st century is there for a very good reason. It's to control what will inevitably happen. The only reason Wall Street managed to survive the Great Depression was through the engineering of the Second World War. By Wall Street financing Hitler, disaster was averted. But this time, those options aren't available. There's no more money to print. There's no huge volunteer army present, nor will there ever be again. Most nations involved are nuclear armed. And there's also the fact that people simply don't believe in the same way they believed in the Second World War. So the unemployment numbers continue to be manipulated. And in the meantime, the powers that be have to make do with a perpetual, small scale, localized warfare. Because as a money spinner and a boost to the economy, it's unparalleled in its effectiveness. So really, Jihadi John is just a bit part player in an effort to start a full scale regional war in the Middle East. A war dragging in as many nations and powers as possible, but without anything inconvenient happening like the release of a nuclear weapon. One of the reasons why I